Good evening, everyone. This is Atticus from The Complete Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. So just a quick refresher, the chart on the left is Bitcoin, and the chart on the right is the Bitcoin against the S&P 500 valuation. So as we spoke about in the last Bitcoin episode, we were waiting for one more high before a correction to the downside. Well, that one more high has happened, so the question is, when is the correction coming? Putting it simply, I still believe we have a tiny bit more upside. A measured move for this wave five of our initial impulse off the September lows would be at roughly $40,150, which is the 1.618 Fibonacci retracement of wave four. I'm still expecting a bare minimum of $38,900, which is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement from Bitcoin's all-time high. Additionally, as we spoke about in the last video, I wanted to see one more high on the Bitcoin against S&P 500 valuation this week, which has not happened yet. So just a quick recap, I want to see one more high on the chart on the right, and I want to see a bare minimum of $38,900 on the Bitcoin chart. Now, let's stop for a moment and discuss the significance of both these charts. Well, because Bitcoin is the best performing asset ever created in the history of mankind, it's very important to compare all assets to Bitcoin. And as you can see on both charts, both the Bitcoin against the US dollar valuation on the left and the Bitcoin against the S&P 500 valuation on the right are both in an uptrend, indicating that Bitcoin is the superior asset out of all three. Okay, that's a very elementary interpretation, Atticus. So what else can we gather from both these charts? Well, this is what most people believe right now. Perception. US dollar is better than stocks, which is better than Bitcoin. That is what most people believe right now. However, notice that as Bitcoin made a higher high against its US dollar valuation this week, Bitcoin did not make a higher high on its S&P 500 valuation. So what does this prove? That proves that when it comes to Bitcoin, the S&P 500 and the dollar, Bitcoin is the strongest asset. The second strongest asset is the S&P 500 because it's showing resilience against Bitcoin. And the weakest asset out of all three is the US dollar. So this is reality. Bitcoin is better than stocks, which is better than the US dollar. Anyway, our long-term targets for Bitcoin at $80,000 and $175,000 remain unchanged. So last week, we talked about the significance of the weekly Gaussian channel indicator, and today we'll be introducing a new money flow indicator. The green and red waves represent money flow. When money flow flips from red to green, it signifies money is coming into the markets and vice versa. So as you can see, when the weekly money flow flips from red to green, it always has indicated two things on the Bitcoin chart. One, Bitcoin never makes a new bear market low. And two, Bitcoin eventually soars to new all-time highs. I mean, just take a look at how powerful the money flow crossover was last year. So the weekly money flow crossed from green to red on April 11th of 2022, and then Bitcoin proceeded to crash from $40,000 all the way back down to $15,000. And now, as you can see on the money flow indicator on the weekly time frame, has flipped from red to green. This is why time and time again, when we take a look at the longer term picture for Bitcoin, we constantly say we are on the verge of a substantial bull market. Shifting gears to the S&P 500, looks good, doesn't it? Last week, we talked about the three bullish soldiers on the weekly time frame. Honestly, I'm not going to have much to say on the S&P 500 until we see a correction. When a pullback does happen, we'll draw a blue Fibonacci retracement support area to ride the S&P 500 to new all-time highs. The new all-time high targets remain unchanged, spanning between $4,870 and $5,100, which is the area shaded in white, otherwise known as the 0.618 trend-based Fib extension to 0.786 trend-based Fib extension. Moving over to some regression, just a quick overview of this indicator. The red region represents Bitcoin's overvaluation. The green region represents Bitcoin's undervaluation and the blue line represents Bitcoin's fair value. The concept of this indicator is quite simple. You buy in the green and you sell in the red. 
Bitcoin this week continues to find support at the blue fair value line, which was prior resistance. Bitcoin's fair value this week is at $35,562.69. As stated before, the real fun in the crypto markets begin when Bitcoin can blast past the blue fair value line, which is why you're seeing a lot of altcoins on the move. The million dollar question right now is, are you going to get a second opportunity to purchase Bitcoin when it's undervalued? My gut instinct still says no, but we'll see. The undervalued region this week spans between $15,314.84 to $28,242.34. Just a quick reminder, the undervalued region of the regression bands have done a fairly good job at catching all the Bitcoin bear market bottoms. So considering the lower bound of the regression bands is already at $15,000 and rising every week, good luck if you're a bear praying for $10,000. Okay, so apparently BlackRock met with the SEC this week to discuss the impending BlackRock Bitcoin ETF approval, and market makers are using this piece of news to pump the price of Bitcoin. The SEC already said last week that there won't be any Bitcoin ETF approvals until 2024. I covered that in the last Bitcoin episode. So yeah, everything is gearing up for a tumultuous 2024. I'm still expecting a lot of volatility as a result of the Bitcoin halving the Federal Reserve pivots, and the impending Bitcoin ETF approvals. It does look like market makers are setting us all up for a grand revealing of this Bitcoin ETF by laying out the red carpet for it. 2023, at the end of the day, was a transition year for the cryptocurrency markets, and I'm certainly not getting out of bed for no $38,000 Bitcoin. As we spoke about just a few minutes ago, we're still anticipating much higher Bitcoin prices. Our first long-term target is at $80,000, and our second long-term target is at $175,000. We'll close things off by taking a look at CleanSpark, which is a viewer request. Yeah, listen, the long-term picture looks great. CleanSpark bottomed at the golden window between the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement and the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement. Wave threes in Elliott Wave Theory are usually accompanied by a strong surge in volume, which is exactly what you're seeing right now. If CleanSpark continues to surge higher, the next target is the 1.618 to 1.786 trend-based Fib extension levels, which span between $36 and $47. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do any due diligence on the fundamentals and the financials, but from a technical perspective, this chart looks good for the bull market. Okay, so that's my analysis on Bitcoin for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.